Hey guys, my name's Will. Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about the ligaments of the foot and the ankle. Now I'm going to annotate these ligaments as we go and I've got some great photos to show you each of the ligaments and I think a really good spot to start is from an anterior lateral view. So here you can see an anterior lateral view and yes, there's a lot of ligaments. I think where we should start is with the lateral ligaments of the ankle that we can see from this angle. So the first one, which is here and here, and remember that um, the bones of the feet are really important to naming these ligaments. So if you're not sure on the bones, maybe review the bones first and then try and attempt these ligaments because the ligament names are basically just the bones smushed together. But the first ligament I'd like to show you is the ligament that's between the most distal part of the tibia and the fibula. And this is called the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. And I'm going to abbreviate because these names are just too long. Now that ligament supports the inferior tibiofibular joint, which is a syndesmosis joint. Um, moving down a bit more inferiorly, you can see there's another thick ligament here. You've probably sprained this one before if you've rolled your ligament. This is the anterior, I mean rolled your foot, anterior talofibular ligament. By roll your foot, I mean roll your ankle. Jeez, I got there in the end. ATFL. Now, moving distally, you can see from the tarsal sinus, there's a ligament that has two sections to it, just there. And this is the bifurcate ligament. Bifurcate. And it's made up of two parts. I'm going to write these just up here. Bifurcate equals the calcaneonavicular ligament and then the calcaneocuboid. So if you see those two ligaments on their own, they're just part of the bifurcate. Then we can see there's the dorsal talonavicular, dorsal talonavicular ligament. And there's one more that sort of joins the calcaneus to the cuboid, and this is the dorsal calcaneocuboid ligament. So then basically distal to those ligaments, we have lots of tiny ones which we'll go through on the next picture but in this one i'm just going to summarize them as intertarsal ligaments basically in the in the midfoot joining all those middle tarsal bones together now attaching the uh, bases and sort of the start of the shaft of the metatarsals together we have something called the dorsal metatarsal ligaments and then as you go to the metatarsophalangeal joints, you have a ligament that's going sort of the same direction as the previous. Uh, but this one is called the deep transverse metatarsal. So then on either side of those MTP joints, the metatarsophalangeal, we have longitudinal ligaments. And these are the collateral ligaments of those joints. And then everything else, so like these joint capsules, are exactly that. They're the joint capsules of the interphalangeal joints. Now, just laterally, you will have noticed that there's something that looks a bit like a ligament there, but this is actually the inferior perineal retinaculum, and that holds those fibularis muscles in position. All right, let's have a look at the next picture, which is taken from a little bit more posteriorly. Now, here I want to draw your attention firstly to this ligament, which is the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. And that's on the other side of that syndesmosis joint. Now we can see uh, the superior perineal retinaculum. Here was the inferior, inferior perineal retinaculum. And if you just keep looking a little bit further around, you'll notice uh, the next lateral ligament of the ankle, which is the posterior talofibular ligament, like we had the anterior one before. So that's all I want to show you on this picture because we're going to keep working our way posteriorly. 
Here we can see a little bit more clearly the posterior tibio, the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. We can see the posterior talofibular, posterior talofibular ligament. Then we can see a few more. We can see something that looks like the posterior talofibular, but it actually goes a little bit further medial, and that's called the trans transverse tibiofibula. As we continue to look at the back here, you can see something that's called the posterior tibiotalar. Posterior tibiotalar ligament. And then we have two ligaments that are joining the calcaneus to the talus. Uh, the one that's more lateral is called the posterior talocalcaneal. And the one that's more medial is the medial talocalcaneal. Okay, let's keep swinging around to see. Now we're sort of looking at the posterior medial surface. Let's quickly run through the ones that we've just done. We've got the PITFL, we've got the PTFL, we've got the transverse tibiofibula, and then we had the posterior, posterior talocalcaneal, we had the medial talocalcaneal. Now we get to the deltoid ligament, which is the major stabilizing ligament on the medial side of the ankle. But I want to run through the uh, individual parts for you because deltoid's easy, but the difficult thing is knowing the individual parts. This first part between the tibia and the talus is the posterior tibiotalar. Posterior tibiotalar ligament. Just anterior to it, you have something called the tibiocalcaneal. Tibiocalcaneal there. And then we have the tibionavicular ligament. Tibionavicular, which is quite large. Tibionavicular, right? So they're three, they're three of the four parts to that deltoid ligament. To see the last part, we need to look even more anteriorly. So let's keep going around. Let me show you that last part. It's here, right? That's the anterior tibiotalar ligament. Anterior tib Taylor ligament. The posterior tibio Taylor was there. And then in between those two, we had the tibio calcaneal, tibio calcaneal ligament, and then the tibio navicular ligament as well. Okay, so that's the deltoid ligament. Those four sections make up the deltoid. To show you a few other ligaments we can see on this medial view, I want to start with the spring ligament, right? And this is one that sits underneath the talus, and it's just positioned here. Another name for it is the plantar calcaneonavicular. Plantar calcaneonavicular. Uh, you can see why everyone calls it the spring. Um, but it basically holds up the talus from underneath. Now, if you just look even more plantar than that, you have something that's called the short plantar ligament. I'll show you better on, a, on an inferior picture soon. And then just to wrap up on this slide, we've got some cuneonavicular ligaments here. Okay, now let's keep turning the foot around to have a look on the underside now. So let's start with what we know. We know that this is the posterior tibio tailor. We know that this was the tibio calcaneal. We know that this one was the tibio navicular. And then we saw just a minute ago that this was the spring ligament. We said that this was the short plantar, which you can see a lot better from this side now. And then you can see the long plantar 
just next to it here. That's the long plantar ligament. And you might be thinking, well, what's this? That's the, um, the plantar fascia. Okay, then what about this? What's this structure here? Is that a ligament? No, that's a muscle. Well, it's a tendon. And that's the tendon of fibularis longus. Fibularis longus tendon. And I think they're the main ligaments on this picture. Keep rolling around. Now this is the dorsal and the dorsal surface of the foot. And this is the last picture that I want to show you. This is where I want to go through the intertarsal ligaments. First, let's start with something we know. What about uh, the bifurcate ligament? Yep, we know where that is. All right, this is the bifurcate. And that joins the calcaneus to the navicular and the cuboid. What about this one? The dorsal talonavicular, dorsal talonavicular ligament. Okay, what else is easy that we've done already? This one. That's the calcaneocuboid, calcaneocuboid ligament, calc cube. And I believe that has a dorsal at the start of it. Now we reach the point where we've, we've got the navicular here, the bone, and we're looking at the ligaments that join it to the cuneiforms. So the name you give those ligaments are the dorsal cuneonavicular ligaments. Okay, what about this ligament here that's joining the cuboid to the navicular? That's the dorsal cuboidio navicular ligament. Then you can see from the cuboid we have some ligaments joining the cuboid to the lateral cuneiform. And so the name that we give that ligament is the dorsal cuneocuboid ligament or ligaments if there's a few and then the last ligaments that are left the only ones we haven't labeled yet are the ones that are joining the cuneiforms to the metatarsals and you can call these ones the tarso metatarsal ligaments dorsal tarso metatarsal ligaments now we have the dorsal metatarsal ligament as well don't forget we have the deep transverse metatarsal ligament. And then you can notice nicely the collateral ligaments around the metatarsophalangeal joints, like we saw in the first picture. And there's a medial and a lateral collateral ligament to each metatarsophalangeal joint. Now there's this muscle here that looks like a ligament, but it's actually a muscle tendon, and that's tibialis anterior. And that's all the ligaments that I want to show you on these particular pictures. It's usually way more than what you'll need to know, but once you know the bones of the foot, then you can put which bone it's going to and coming from together to form a ligament name. I hope you learned something. I hope that it wasn't too much information, and I hope to see you in the next video.